Filipino SWAT, police, anyone with authority, step your game up right now. Because what I just saw, what I just watched, is completely pathetic. You know, damn. It's so sad. Here's the thing, when people go to a country as a tourist, they expect to have fun, they expect to enjoy themselves, and they expect to explore the country that they're in. Not to be taken as hostage. You know. It sucks because when I thought about it, you're spending money to go to another country and you get taken hostage and you get killed. That's what sucks about this. These people are spending good money to go to a country and enjoy themselves. But instead, they get killed. Um... This could have all been prevented from the beginning if, uh, you know, the SWAT in the Philippines were smart enough to set up snipers and sharpshooters, you know, to take out the guy as soon as he, as soon as you see him. The guy is holding an assault rifle. He's an ex-cop. You know, and the demands that he was making... Oh, I got fired. Now you have to rehire me. Bullshit, man. There must have been a good reason that this dude must have got fired. Okay? <laughs> it's so bullshit. It's so bullshit, man. Even though he released uh, a few hostages, he had 24 in the bus, and he released a few. <sighs> a lot of them got killed. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of them got killed. And the way that the SWAT, the Filipino SWAT, handled it was so pathetic. You know? Like, negotiation happened for so long. And, you know, the captain of the SWAT team, he decided to move in as soon as the, the driver of the bus escaped. And the driver said to the, to the captain, he's like, Oh, you know... There's, uh, everybody's dead on the bus. You have to move in. So the captain's like, oh, shit. We gotta move in now. So he moved in as soon as he heard that. Like, you could have just shot the guy. You could have just shot the guy plain sight in the head when he came out of the bus. Like, the guy asked for food. Like, he got, like, the guy asked for food for the, for the people on the bus. You know, and the, you know, the, the delivery boy or whoever and the negotiator came up to the bus to deliver the food. And the guy, the ex-cop, came full sight out of the bus. Full, you can see him. Man, if it was me, I would have took a shot right there. Boom, dead. You know, these people on the tour bus are probably shaking so much. They're probably so scared. Man. All those lives could have been... They, they could have lived. They could have lived to at least enjoy the country. To at least enjoy the Philippines. Because Phil, Philippines is so maganda. It's so beautiful. You know... Growing up, I'm a half Filipino, and growing up with my Filipino family, and I went to the Philippines, you know, I remember it being so beautiful, and I plan on going um, after I finish my college. Oh, goodness, man. I just, it just sickens me so much. It just makes me so mad that the Filipino police didn't step up, you know, and I don't, I don't know why, but they're throwing 
glow sticks into the bus. The Filipino SWAT team is throwing glow sticks into the bus. Why would you throw glow sticks into the bus? Hmm? That's just stupid. That's just dumb. They need to step their game up. You know, they never even heard of flashbangs. You know, if, if they're under the assumption that everybody is dead on the bus except for the shooter, why the fuck would you throw glow sticks into the bus? I'm sorry for swearing, though. But that just pissed me off. You know, the Filipino police authorities there, I know there's a lot of corruption, but this, you know, you got the whole world watching. They broadcast it live, okay? So you got the whole world watching, you got everybody on YouTube watching, it's going to be all over the net soon, it's going to be all over TV. This could have been prevented. The SWAT in the Philippines... You know, the police in the Philippines need to step their game up so high. When I was watching that, when I was watching the videos and watching the news reports, they looked sluggish. They didn't, it's like they didn't know what they were doing. Ah, it's just facepalm, man. But, you know, my heart goes out to all the families. And all the people that are lost on the Hong Kong bus. It's such a waste, man. It's such a waste. Enough said. Filipino SWAT need to step up their game. They need to show some initiative, some deter determination, and some motivation. Because I was not seeing it during those videos and those news reports and, and all the videos that I saw on the hostage shaking. They could have prevented it and all those lives could have been saved. If you want, leave a comment. Say whatever you want. Please subscribe to my ch channel. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Take it easy, guys.